This video is to help with affiliating your members for your local HOSA chapter. This website is the National HOSA website, www.hosa.org, and there's two different ways for you to log in as the local advisor. You can go to Advisors and click Local Advisor, or you can just simply click the login up at the top right. This gives you um, options here. Your first option is read chapter affiliation instructions. If you've never affiliated before, I do suggest that you do this so that you know the type things you need to have ready. And it'll explain to you what is uh, a secondary member versus a collegiate member, that type thing. When you're ready to affiliate, you click complete the affiliation application. It'll give you a few more instructions. Make sure you read them. Click next and it'll look at your chapter information. Check and make sure that everything here is correct, and then check each one of these down at the bottom that applies to you. If you are also affiliated with Project Lead the Way, if you're a brand new chapter, this is the first time you've ever affiliated, if you have affiliated 100% of the students in your Health Science Project Lead the Way classes, then you click there, but click every one that applies to you, and then go next. Now make sure your billing and your shipping information is correct. Double check that. Next, now you're looking at your demographics. You're looking at your total number of students that you're affiliating here. And then disadvantaged is um, things like if they're on free and reduced lunch. Handicap if they have a 504 or, or if they um, have a special needs folder. Displaced if they're from Louisiana and they've had to move up here for the time being because of the flood. Non-traditional, we really don't have a lot of those anymore. Health science doesn't have non-trads in, in Alabama. Um, next, you've got, I've already affiliated two yesterday, and that was me and Collie. I need to add Melinda. So she is going to be a professional member. She's female. She's white. She is not applicable because she's not in school. And I'm just going to add her name, making sure I spell it correctly, and then add her phone number, and then her email. You really need to make sure you add the email, especially if you're looking at a um, student that wants to participate in the recognition activities with the activity tracker. The email has to be there. Next, it's giving you a summary of what you have affiliated and the amounts that are due. It's giving you a few more instructions before you click done. It wants you to double check the names, uh, make sure that all your information is accurate, and then you can either go back to home and go back through and look at it. You can go back to go back and look at the student names, um, or you can click done. Once you click done, everything you've put in is affiliated and you can no longer change that. You can go in and print an affiliation statement. So this is your invoice that you want to take to your bookkeeper. You can print it right up here and you can go back and view a membership directory. And this I always printed and put in my HOSA notebook and there I have all of the students that are affiliated and are members. At this point, you are finished with affiliation. If you need further instructions, um, this information right here is on the Alabama HOSA website, and it gives you step-by-step -step with the things that you just saw. And the Alabama HOSA website is www.alabamahosa.org. Thank you.